What's up, YouTube? So, DM groups. Do they work? Are they real? What's the benefit of a DM group? Why does everyone keep telling me I need to get into DM groups? Well, if you're like me, and you've done your research on YouTube on how to grow your Instagram, or maybe anything on social media, you probably have heard about engagement groups, or as they're called in uh, Instagram, DM groups. And everyone is always pushing getting into DM groups, trying to find DM groups with uh, high people with high followers, but the question is, do they actually work? Is it actually beneficial to get into a DM group? Well, the answer is not so simple. Let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Brian here, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Brian Gurley. I'm a content creator, and I, I do social media, and I help people grow on social media and grow their brands. I am the owner and the founder of The Casual Brand, and we have over 25,000 uh, followers. Currently, we're growing each day. Uh, we started from scratch, and now we have over 25,000 in less than six months. So. I have some tips that I can give, uh, share with you that I use to grow my pages and hopefully they'll help you to grow your page. If you are interested in that kind of content, then be sure to subscribe because that way you can get all the content. Uh, I talk about how to and then some concepts of things that I think are best practices. So if this sounds interesting to you, please subscribe so you can get more content. Now that that's out of the way, DM groups. Do they work? And should you, or yeah, should you be interested in DM groups? I want to say, should I? It always gets confusing. The answer is, it depends. For me personally, and that's all I ever try to talk about, what has worked for me. When I tried DM groups, I found them to be a huge waste of time. The concept itself, so if you don't know what a DM group, let's start there. If you don't know what a DM group or an engagement group is, is that it's a group of people and then you post whatever it is that you're going to post in the group and let them know, hey, I just posted or I'm about to post it. So then when they when you post it, a bunch of people will go to the page, engage with it, leave comments. This stimulates the algorithm and they say, oh, this must be a great post and then they show it to everybody else. That's the idea. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It just doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because most of the people in engagement groups suck. And most of their content sucks. And they're looking for shortcuts. And so the, while the idea itself is a good idea, it's filled with people just looking for shortcuts. And I just think that whenever you're if you want to be successful, you can't surround yourself with people looking for shortcuts. That's not going to help your page. Also, Instagram figured it out, you know, because people they're because they're the people that are looking for shortcuts. The way they did engagement groups was like shortcuts. They would come and they would say the same thing every single time. And then Instagram was like, hmm, this is kind of weird. Why is this person always engaging with this person, but in the same way and leaving the same comments. And it became obvious. But that aside, for me, the main reason why I stopped doing DM groups is because it's three to five people doing the actual engagement and then the rest of the people are just asking. There's no balance. It's not even like people are pretending to have balance. It's just a lot of asking, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me. Now, I think it's a good idea if uh, you actually have an, a group where there's balance, where there's give and take. A good idea is maybe start an engagement group or a DM group with your family or all your friends, you know, which is what I think the story is or the idea behind uh, Instagram doing close friends. That's fine. You, you know what I mean? Like, I... I don't want to, to make it sound like 
the DM group is bad. It's not bad, it's a good idea. But the problem is, with just like with everything on social media, is that it gets abused by people looking for shortcuts. And that's my issue, and that's why I would advise against DM groups, that's why I left all of the DM groups. I've heard that uh, Instagram is looking for people in DM groups and they're penalizing. I don't know if that's true, but before that I even heard that, I just stopped because I just didn't find them to be rewarding. I found them to be a waste of time. I was getting a ton of notifications. I was trying to go out and like actually consume people's content and support them, but then no one was doing the same. And I guess it, it's it's on me because in a way I was looking for a shortcut, but I just thought that, you know, well, okay, everyone's saying you gotta do DM groups, you gotta do DM groups. So I did one and I was very excited to get in them and I get notifications for DM groups every day now. And I, I, I always decline them because it's a waste of time. You would be must you would be much better served, in my opinion, rather than uh, engaging in that engagement group, actually just going out and engaging. Um, I saw someone say some, uh, it might've been Gary, go on, type, type like, um, like your city or type like a hashtag and then just go in and respond. But see that even that you can't really do that because if you do that too much, Instagram is going to ping you. They don't want anything that's close or resembles spam. So on to like, uh, in the abundance of caution, Instagram sometimes will like ping people even if they're not even engaging in spam. And that's because there's so many people abusing it. It all comes down to what I say. Stop trying to grow fast. Stop trying to look for shortcuts. Um, the fastest way to grow, in my opinion, is to just do it. You know what I mean? I'm doing these YouTube videos right now. I'm not looking for any... Uh, DM group or engagement groups or people who have all these tricks to like growing it. The only thing that I care about when I'm looking for tips on YouTube is how to make my actual uh, product better. You know, I need to consider my thumbnails. I need to consider my titles. I need to consider my positioning. I need to consider my length. I need to consider my intro. I was trying uh, the intros where you're like, hey, you know, do this, do this, stay tuned. That's, I don't like that. I, I was looking into uh, Peter McKinnon and I like the way his intros are, you know? And in fact, I have a new concept for uh, YouTube intros. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a one minute intro and that intro I will also use as my Instagram post. So everything's connected, you know, because I only have a limited amount of time. I'm a one man shop and I need to make sure that I'm getting the most content and the most value out of every single thing that I'm doing. This is what, you should be using YouTube for, not not cheap tricks and stuff. And you know, I get it. Um, and that's why I said cheap tricks, because there are some tricks that you can do that I'm gonna talk about in some of my other videos this week that will help you. There are cool little things, cool little things that you might not know about. That stuff's fine. My issue is people that are looking for shortcuts because shortcuts, you know, and, I, and I'm guilty of this. I am 100% guilty of this. Sometimes, I will um, post something without watching the entire video because I'm trying to save time. But I'm saving like, I'm saving 30 seconds, but then because I'm trying to save those 30 seconds, the quality of my caption suffers. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think some things, and for me, that's reposting, and, I, and I, I'm guilty of this still. Sometimes you just need to take that time for the, pay that price of time for the quality. Don't try to get around it, don't try to get away from it. It's okay, pay the price of time for the quality. So that these are my thoughts on DM groups. I can't say definitively that they don't work for everybody. I just know that they didn't work for me at all. Like, at all. I can, I'll, I'll testify in court, whoever wants me to testify. The, I, complete waste of time. And I can say this as well, the, the engagement in engagement groups is generally trash. You know, you got people in there with four, four posts, man. What, you, what am I gonna engage with, you know? Seriously, it's always the people with like four posts that are saying, I don't see, I don't even trip on quality anymore. 
my thing is like, what are you doing? What is there? Is there improvement? Anyway, I'm I can go for days and days. I would have to say, avoid engagement groups. They're not a, they're not a good use of your time. Um, there is other things that you could do. Maybe just make an engagement group with your friends or family. Try that. That could help. But actual DM groups, watch out for them. So this is my video. Let me know what you think. Have you have you in your experience uh, had good uh, experience with DM groups? Do you find them to be uh, successful? If you think I'm wrong, tell me why I'm wrong. Because I would love to. Um, I would love to, you know, learn, and I would love to also make sure I'm giving the best advice to the people that I'm giving it to. Because that's what we're all here to help each other. We're all here to make sure that we're all making the best content. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a like. If you didn't, again, let us know what you think so that we can all get better. Have a great day.